take number, I don't know, three, four. Oh, I've recorded this a few times and ran into some difficulties. I'm using my, doesn't matter, you guys don't care. Uh, it's an expensive camera, blah, blah, blah. This is my 2023 year in review. Um, yeah, I was going to go on and on about a bunch of shit, but uh, really, I'm just here to say uh, 2023 has been one of the happiest years of my life. Yep. It's a true story. I got two people to thank for that. Uh, my son, Caleb, and... My gal, Sherry. Um, we've been together, I don't know, seven months now. And wow, has it been a blast, honestly. You know, it's a cliche, but uh, you know when they say when a door closes, another one opens? Well, yeah, I believe in that. And really, truth be said... This wasn't planned. I had no idea that this was going to happen. Um, neither did she, for that matter. And uh, it just sort of gradually took hold. And yeah, that was that. So yeah, that's 2023. <laughs> I mean, at least three quarters of it, if I if my maths are correct. But yeah. Super happy, couldn't be happier, looking forward to Christmas Eve. Um, things, things are good. Uh, work, work, uh, the work I do is good. It's uh, a little boring, but it's, it's good. Unfortunately, I don't know what's happened over the last five years. Um, profits have risen, share prices have gone up. Good for me. But uh, the morale in our building is just tanked. Absolute garbage. And sorry to say it, but it's, it's the managers that are doing it. They're driving the morale to this, to this all-time low. And uh, it's right from the top and to the low. Sorry, had a little technical snafu. This... I gotta revisit the idea of using this camera. Anyway, yeah, um, management of driven morale to an all-time low. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, I'm not one for New Year's resolutions. Uh, I prefer to look back at the year, see what's uh, happened, what I've experienced, what the changes have been. Uh, on a personal level, friendship, relationship-wise, and see how I can do better in the new year. I have never been one to ever embrace New Year's resolutions. I try and stay fit as I can throughout the year. Uh, I, I eat good. I live good. Uh, I've got a um, good financial situation. So I really, I don't need New Year's resolutions. I just prefer to reflect on the year that is ending and look forward to making adjustments and changes in the year to come. So I guess one lesson uh, I'll get into it is uh, if I could go back and tell myself something, give myself a little word of advice, that would be be very, very fucking careful who you invest your time into. Yeah, I am a giver by nature. I give my time and money uh, and compassion freely, too much so. I know that I take responsibility for it. And time and again, I have to make an adjustment with that little bit of my personality and say, scale it back. And it's important for me to do, the, do this because I do get taken advantage um, of my generosity my free time it gets used and siphoned off and it seems and i'm not bitching and whining but it just seems to get thrown to the side uh, when it's all used up and that kind of bothers me that 
people would do that. I mean, as I said, I take responsibility for myself to put myself in that situation. But, you know, in the years to come, I'm sure I'll end up in the same place. But where I sit right now and this time of the year, we're almost done. I got to look forward to the future and be very careful who I invest my time into. Uh, there's got to be balance. There's got to be give and take. I'm a little bit okay if people take a little bit too much, but when some people use me up as, as a disposable piece of, I don't know, equipment or a tool and then just discard me, I get pissed off. I've got nothing specific I want to talk about. I'm just saying personally, my personal journey, make sure that you're not investing too much time into people that couldn't give two fucks about you and would split on you at the the dry the the quickest the driest the quickest uh, drop of the hat does that make sense anyways just be careful with whom you invest your time into because they'll fuck off on you uh, without hesitation i guess that's what i'm trying to say yeah it's sad that's uh, that's people though you know that's human nature, unfortunately. Just got to learn and live. Uh, that's really it. I don't want to go on too much because uh, this whole filming process today is really fucking pissed me off. And it's a clear reason why I use a GoPro more than this camera. Uh, that's it. I look forward to the new year with Caleb and Sherry and all my friends that uh, are still in my life. And uh, I look forward to new friends and new adventures. There you go. Without getting all fucking sappy. Uh, happy New Year. Happy 2024. And, or do you say happy 2023? Anyway. And Merry Christmas. Yeah. Look forward to more videos of Sherry and I goofing off in the car. That is a fucking blast. Oh my God, is she a natural. Okay, that's it. It's me. I'm out. I just finished a run. I'm cresting. <laughs> I gotta end this now. All right. Bye bye.